Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in this all-inclusive tutorial, we are going to go step-by-step -step showing you exactly how to get started with affiliate marketing, some different traffic routes. We're gonna talk about paid traffic versus free traffic, uh, but we're really gonna go in-depth in affiliate marketing to show you everything that you need to know when it comes to making money as an affiliate marketer. Now, the one thing, I hate that I have to disclaim this, but look, I'm not selling any products. I'm not trying to get you to buy my affiliate marketing course that I'm selling for $1,000. I'm not doing any of that because the truth is I don't sell any online courses. This is totally free information. You can learn all of this for free on the internet with YouTube tutorials and a number of other different resources. So with that said, let's get started with this video. If you're new here to the channel, make sure you subscribe for more videos like this. We do our best to bring out as many marketing videos as possible. Uh, but this is a very, very fun opportunity. And I'm very excited that you landed on this video. I recommend you take out a pen, take out a piece of paper, uh, and let's jump into this now. So first of all, affiliate marketing, we're going to talk about exactly what it is and some strategies and some of my best pointers for how to get a, a higher conversion rates and how to just essentially make more money with this process. Because in the past few years, my brother Mike and I have scaled up our affiliate marketing businesses uh, to generating thousands of dollars per month. And we'll show you exactly how we do that. We'll actually take you into some of our accounts. I suppose we could do that uh, in this video as well. But what I love about affiliate marketing and the reason why I think it is the best opportunity to get started with as a business is because it's totally free to start. You don't have to have money to buy products and then sell products. Uh, I see a lot of people who want to start a business or they want to start generating money and they think that they need to have money to make money. Now, truth be told, it is easier to make money when you already have money, but with affiliate marketing, you really don't have to have anything. Now, as you're gonna see in this video, it's probably best to start with $100 or $200 just to get the ball rolling a little bit faster. But if you want to, you could literally start with $0. Uh, there really is no threshold for that. So that's one of the best things about it. There's really no barrier to entry when it comes to making money as an affiliate marketer. Uh, so it's incredibly lean as a startup. Um, and so with this, there's almost nothing to lose. There's almost no risk associated with this. Now, maybe there's some small levels of risk, uh, like time, for example, putting in your time. But I can promise you this, that if you follow some of these steps in this video, you're going to find that it's almost impossible to fail and to not make money with some of these things that we can be doing. So the first thing that I want to do is we need to clear up the air a little bit about affiliate marketing, kind of look at how it's gone in the past 5, 10, 15 years. It's actually been around for quite some time. It's been around really since the 90s, but in practice, it's almost been around before the internet. I'll give you an example here. So the way that affiliate marketing will work is essentially what you will do is you as the affiliate marketer can choose to promote products for businesses and every time that somebody buys a product or you get a lead or a sale for somebody who bought that product, uh, you will get a commission or a piece of the pie. So think uh, if, if I'm going to get you to sign up for a, a product, let's say that I'm, I'm gonna get you to sign up for a bank account. And we'll actually talk about one of my YouTube channels which has about 500,000 subscribers and how I do affiliate marketing on that uh, through free traffic sources. But let's say that I get somebody to sign up for a bank account through a link, right? So. As an affiliate marketer, that bank might give me $100 or $150 for every person who clicks on my designated link because how affiliate marketing works is you'll get a designated link and every time somebody clicks on it and then makes a purchase through that link, you will get money from that. So that's how affiliate marketing works. You're going out and marketing products for businesses and then they're gonna give you money for doing that, for every time you're making a sale, every time you're making a commission. So what's great about this is that you can scale it very rapidly and very quickly. I've seen people, and I kid you not, I have a lot of friends who have gone from $0 a month to literally making five figures monthly, 10, 15, $20,000 a month with certain specific niches. We're gonna talk about some of the best niches as well uh, in this video, but this is just a golden opportunity and I, I'm genuinely excited that you landed on this video. Okay, now one other benefit to affiliate marketing before we actually get into really the, the depth of it, talking about the different niches to get into, the most profitable ones, some different affiliate programs that you can join. The other great thing about it is that you don't have to deal with customer service. You don't have to deal with uh, people who bought your product, who don't like it and they want re returns. Uh, when you're an affiliate marketer, you're a third party marketer where if, if, I'm, sell if I'm going to market Nike shoes, for example, uh, I can market the shoes, make the sale, get the commission. I get the money in my pocket and then two months later if the person doesn't like the Nike shoes and they want to return them to Nike that's Nike's problem that's not my problem as an affiliate marketer so that's just one other benefit to this okay so 
let's talk about, first of all, the best niche to be in or the best category to be in as an affiliate marketer. This is probably the first thing that you're going to want to think of when you go through this journey is what what area am I going to choose? Because the truth is you can actually market products in almost any industry. So regardless of what it is that you're thinking, what type of industry you're thinking of or selling products, I'm going to tell you this right now that most things on the internet, most things that you can buy on the internet, most uh, software, most most things that you'll be paying money for, uh, subscriptions even, a lot of those have affiliate programs. Most companies, even the biggest companies in the world, they have affiliate programs. And I'll actually show you how to access those later in this video as well. So knowing that most companies have affiliate programs or that they're willing to make ones for you, I've had companies make affiliate programs for me uh, simply because of the traffic that I was driving from some of my YouTube channels. Uh, but just know that most companies will have an affiliate program, okay? And so let's actually talk about niches and the best niches to be in. Now, I'm gonna bring up one that I'm a little bit biased about and I'm simply biased about this because this is one that I actually kind of got started with uh, with one of my YouTube channels which was a great source for free traffic. Now, one of those niches was actually in financials. So what I learned is that in the financial industry, so you can look at my YouTube channel right here. Let me actually just pull it up for you perhaps uh, so I can show you exactly what I've been doing on this YouTube channel. Now, I have incredibly slow Wi-Fi right here but I will pull this up and I'll show you uh, what I was doing on this channel and I'll show you how much money some of these videos made in the financial niche. Now, this doesn't mean that you have to necessarily be in the financial niche. I actually recommend that you don't go into it, especially now because it's much more competitive than it once was when I started this YouTube channel uh, two years ago, the Nate O'Brien YouTube channel, which has almost 500,000 subscribers now. It's kind of weird. It grows very fast. Uh, that's something that you'll notice with, with free traffic. We'll also talk about paid traffic as well and how to run ads. We have plenty of videos on how to run ads if you want to do that as an affiliate marketer. But just looking at some of the videos here on this channel, uh, a lot of these, generally they'll get anywhere between 50,000 views and a million views or so depending on uh, 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 really kind of what the video is about. But let's just take this video here, for example, of how I invest in 2020. And so if we scroll down, you'll notice that there is a link in the description here, right here. There's a couple of links in the description. Now, each one of these links is going to be an affiliate link for financial products. Now, financial products are something that pay pretty well. So for example, some of these banks like this link right here, if I click on this link, it'll take me to CIT Bank. You can find them on Commission Junction and their base rate for affiliates as of now, as of sometime in 2020, is $100 per sign up for a bank account. So in this video, I'm talking about investing and then at one point I'd likely say, by the way, if you wanna open up a bank account, a high interest savings bank account, getting 1.75% interest, click the link down below. People go, they click on this link and let's just say that out of uh, 120,000 views that I got perhaps a thousand clicks onto this link and then from that, from a thousand clicks, let's say that I get a hundred people, being extremely conservative, a hundred people People sign up for this bank and I get a hundred dollar commission in my pocket for every person who signs up for it this is this is common knowledge you can look at this on cj.com commission junction we'll talk about that uh, later as well but a hundred dollar commission in my pocket times a hundred people who signed up from it from this video that's a hundred times a hundred is about ten thousand dollars in my pocket from this video that only got 120,000 views. It's not some massive David Dobrik 10 million viewed video. It doesn't have that many views compared to the standard on YouTube, uh, but it still has made thousands of dollars in the process. So each one of these uh, financial products can make quite a bit of money. Same for M1 Finance. This is a brokerage firm that makes quite a bit of money, uh, but even something like this VPN right here. So at one point in some of my videos, I'll mention, I'll say, by the way, VPN, it'll just be a quick little ad that I'll do and I'll say it is an affiliate link. I'd like to disclose that it is an affiliate link and I'll leave it down below in the description. So then if people click on this, it takes them to NordVPN and I will get roughly, I think my commission has generally been about 45 or $47 per person who's signing up for NordVPN. And if this page loads, so for example, right here, you can look that uh, th they clicked on the link for NordVPN and they can get it for a pretty uh, discounted price. And you might see that, for example, this 
this plan here, uh, you can sign up for a three-year plan for $349 a month. That's $125 billed every three years. This is what a lot of people sign up for. And so I, I'm getting, I don't remember the, the exact percentage that I'm getting for that, uh, but usually what I see them coming in is about $45 or so. So I'm, I'm probably getting a 30 or 40% as a commission from NordVPN. And actually, a lot of websites, what we can do here, if you're following along, uh, you can see that if you scroll down, you'll see affiliate down here for NordVPN. This is actually one of my favorite uh, things to promote, which is VPN services, because you can make quite a bit of money with them. Uh, but you can become an affiliate, and a lot of companies, a lot of websites, if you just scroll to the bottom, will have a little tiny thing and say affiliates or join as an affiliate. And you can go and look over their affiliate program. Uh, and so with NordVPN, for example, uh, these are the commissions and, and the payout models that you would uh, be expected to get if you're promoting them and if people are clicking on your link. So you can see that with the one month offer, we can get 100% of the sign up, right? So if, if, if somebody gets a one month subscription to a VPN, they pay $20 for it, you get $20 in your pocket. Uh, now, you'll also get renewals for each one of these. So this means that years down the road, and this is actually pretty amazing to see this happen because I actually have affiliates that I've gotten people to sign up for things years ago, three years ago, and I have recurring commissions coming in every single month so long as that person who signed up for it is uh, uh, paying for that subscription. So these renewal fees are really, really a game changer because this can be the most passive income possible. Uh, once you get people to sign up for things, and look, I need to make a big disclaimer here that I think it's important as an affiliate marketer, one of the biggest things that I, I really think is essential is to have a high level of integrity. So, you know, I think affiliate marketing sometimes gets a bad rap from people because there's a lot of people out there who will just go out there and they'll promote crap, they'll market crap. They're not good products, but they promote them anyway because they want the money. They're greedy little people. I don't know. Uh, my philosophy from this and the way that it's worked for myself is I only choose to promote products that I myself use or that I myself think are very valuable products. So for example, I wouldn't work with CIT Bank if I didn't think it was a good bank. I wouldn't promote them. I just wouldn't. Uh, but I choose to because I like them as a bank. I like NordVPN as a company. So that's something that I think you should just be very aware of going forward that don't get sort of short-sighted with the money, especially if you're looking at a company and thinking about promoting them and you're thinking, well, I can make a lot of money from this company, but you don't really like them. You don't like their morals. You don't like the the, the software that they have, their their product. You just don't like it. Um, and, and if something about it sketches you out or you just think it's weird or that your followers or the people that you're marketing to might not get a lot of value from it, then I personally would advise you to avoid promoting those products because the truth is there's so many products out there that we can promote that it's, it's really easy to pick and choose and find ones that are truly great for you for paying you but also for the people who you're marketing to uh, and, and that's just something that I think is in, it really uh, incredibly important so going back to niches and talking about the different types of niches that we can promote products in, yes, as you can see, finance, it works out very well for me. Uh, I make essentially a full-time income off of this primary YouTube channel here, the Nate O'Brien YouTube channel. Uh, a lot of that comes from affiliates. And yes, it, it does pay well. But what I would suggest you doing is, even if you're watching this video thinking, oh wow, I'm gonna start a financial YouTube channel here or a financial blog, I'm, not, I'm just gonna tell you now that I think it's best to choose a topic that you're truly passionate about. And maybe you've heard people say this before, but it really does hold a high level of truth to it. Now, I've tried in the past to start blogs, to start uh, uh, Facebook groups, to start YouTube channels, to start uh, Instagram pages that were in topics or niches that I just didn't really care about. Um, and so if you want to get started with affiliate marketing, find a niche that you're passionate about. If you absolutely love music, guess what? There are music products that you can promote. You can promote a number of different streaming services. There's a lot of things that you can promote in any different industry. So don't, don't go for finance, honestly. Um, I think it's a little bit flooded right now. It certainly does pay well, but I, at the end of the day, I would focus on things that you truly are very passionate about. Okay, so th that's kind of the, the topic on niches. Uh, let's move on here to talk about uh, whether or not you actually need a website. Now, a lot of people have asked this question in the past, and I actually get messages from people all the time on Instagram. By the way, if you enjoy this video, make sure you follow me on Instagram. I post all kinds of updates on there, and I, I try to respond to DMs. Sometimes I can't. They get a little bit overwhelming sometimes. But uh, I get a lot of questions from people saying, I want to do affiliate marketing, 
Where do I get traffic from? Uh, do I need to have a website? I don't want to make a YouTube channel. Uh, where do I get this traffic from? So as I stated much earlier in this video, there are two primary sources for traffic. There's free traffic and there's paid traffic. Now for the purpose of this video, we're going to focus on free traffic and we're focusing on free traffic because uh, as I stated very early in this video, uh, that there is very low risk and there's a very a little that can go wrong with free traffic versus paid traffic. For example, if you're running ads on Google or Bing or Facebook or Instagram, uh, we actually do have videos uh, showing people how to run ads on Google, for example, if you want to go about that route. What I would suggest doing is if you're getting into affiliate marketing, start with the free traffic route and then eventually you can start to dip your toes into paid traffic for affiliate marketing. Unless of course you already have a lot of experience running ads on Google, on Bing, on Facebook and you're willing to get into that right now, then you could certainly go for it but you're going to find there's obviously slimmer margins when you're running paid traffic. For example, you can actually have your affiliate link uh, promoted for certain things like for example, if, if we type in best bank right here, right? And let's see what comes up for the advertisements. Okay, now a lot of these are, are going to be uh, actual banks, but if we look right here, for example, products.gobankingrates.com, this is actually almost definitely, I've, I've actually never been on this website before, but this is most definitely an affiliate website. See, so they're actually running ads on Google as an affiliate marketer for these banks right here. And every time I click one of these green buttons, boom, they're going to get probably, I'm going to guess $100, $200 really depends on the product. But each one of these, they're getting a good chunk of change and they're doing this as a paid ad. Now, this looks really, really cool because you can buy traffic and you can make money from that. But as I said earlier, um, I, I would be careful with that route. There's a lot slimmer margins. There's a lot more room for error and you're probably going to want some deeper pockets because you're going to have to do a lot of split testing to see what ads are going to work best. But once again, we have a number of videos showing people how to run ads if you're interested in taking that route. Maybe I'll link to some of those videos down below in the description. Okay, so what we're focusing on here is free traffic and people have asked, Nate, do I need to have a website if I want to become an affiliate marketer? Now, the, the short answer is yes. Uh, the long answer is not really. Okay, so the short answer uh, when you are actually applying for affiliate programs, which we're going to get into in the coming minutes here, the, a lot of affiliate programs are actually going to ask you for a link to your website. Now, this doesn't mean that you have to necessarily have your own website. For example, nateobryan.com. I, I do actually own that domain. I haven't really fired it up too much yet. Uh, but you don't have to necessarily have your own website, but you're going to want some type of custom URL or at least some type of page that you can show to these companies that you're applying to become part of their affiliate program. So for example, uh, what I do for a lot of the affiliate programs that I apply for when I put in the application, I will say that my primary URL is youtube.com slash Nate O'Brien. So at least that takes them to my homepage on YouTube and they can see that it is getting a lot of traffic on that YouTube channel. Or for this one here, the channel that you're watching today, Santral Media, that's youtube.com slash Santral Media. Uh, if you have an Instagram page, it, it could be instagram.com slash your username. Uh, if you have a Facebook group, you can have a custom URL for that as well. So some type of custom URL is generally helpful to have. Uh, it's going to get easier to become approved by affiliate programs. But the biggest thing here is that if you want to get approved by affiliate programs, you're going to need a source of traffic. Okay, so if you're looking for free traffic, there's a couple of options that are available to you. One of them is blogs. Blogs are great for generating a lot of traffic. They have extremely high conversions. And look, I know it's 2020, but it's still not too late to start a blog. So don't feel like you can't start one now. If anything, it's almost the best time to start a website or a blog now. And trust me, I have friends who make a lot of money from their blog. So my friend Jeff Rose makes about $276,000 dollars per month from his blog. I kid you not, you can go and go down that rabbit hole on your own if you want to, but for the purpose of this video, I'm, you're going to have to just believe me on this. Uh, you can Google this, you can do your own research, but I'm telling you that blogs make a lot more money than what people think. I know personally until just last year, I thought blogs were dead. I thought, who the hell reads blogs? Blogs don't make any money. But the thing is about blogs is that the links, your affiliate link can be embedded into a blog post and so it makes it much easier for people to click on it and much easier and much more likely for them to actually convert on those affiliate links 
of yours. And so that's why the, the total amount of money that you're getting from 10,000 blog visits versus 10,000 YouTube visits, you're going to get a lot more money from blogs in most cases. So uh, I'm actually going to show you how to build a website here in about two minutes. But first, I want to show you some other traffic sources. One of them, obviously, YouTube. Uh, it's worked really well for me personally uh, with my primary YouTube channel, uh, uh, with the Nate O'Brien channel. It's, it's obviously done quite well. Um, but a lot of people don't want to get onto YouTube, right? They don't want to get in front of a camera and, and talk. Um, and the only thing I'll say about that is that, first of all, you, you definitely don't have to. There's so many other routes. But I found that it's actually, you get a lot better at speaking over a course of time. So I was an absolutely terrible speaker. I couldn't put two sentences together, two words together. Uh, I was stumbling over my words. I, I actually took down most of my old videos when I started about three years ago on this YouTube channel or on my, my primary YouTube channel uh, because they were absolutely terrible videos. I was like, da, 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 da. I just couldn't talk. I couldn't talk um, and I wasn't good at it. I wasn't natural. I'm naturally an introvert. I'm not a people person. But over time, I've gotten a little bit better. I like to think that I'm a little bit better at speaking. I don't script these videos. There's no teleprompter. I'm just talking to a camera here. Uh, I don't even have any notes really on, on this. I wrote a couple things down. Uh, but it just becomes much easier over a period of time. So don't be discouraged if you want to start with YouTube. Uh, there's certainly a lot of traffic in that. Uh, but some other real gems for affiliate marketing is actually a Facebook group. Facebook groups are absolutely killer when it comes to affiliate marketing. If you build a Facebook group that can grow organically, we've done this in the past, but I have friends who have, uh, 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 for example, credit card affiliate groups uh, that, that are extremely, extremely profitable where they'll have a, a Facebook group uh, that is about credit cards and then they will put their credit card affiliate links in the group, which they own, so they can pin it to the top. They can pin their post to the top. They're highly active groups uh, and they certainly are cash machines. So you can start a Facebook group, uh, Instagram pages. I've seen people start Instagram pages. The only problem with Instagram is that it's harder to do affiliates with Instagram because you can't just put an affiliate link in a post. But if you have over 10,000 followers on Instagram, you can have the swipe up feature on your story. So I, I have that for my personal Instagram. I have the swipe up feature uh, and that allows me to actually put an affiliate link in an Instagram post and I get money uh, for every Instagram swipe up uh, that I will post to my story on Instagram. So that's certainly a route as well. Uh, but then there's other, some, some really other interesting ones as well, like Discord groups or Reddit even. Um, now, some people just kind of go around and we call these sort of like little salesman warriors where they'll go around and they'll like answer questions in forums and then put their affiliate link in there. That's just too time consuming. I don't think it's really much worth it. So if you're going on to like Quora and you're putting your affiliate link when, when somebody asks a question of like, what's the best VPN? And you just put your affiliate link there and, and, and try to get them to click on your link. I don't know how much of an effect that would really have. I think there's better ways to do it uh, uh, than just kind of going out and responding to comments, pu pushing your affiliate link. And another one too is email marketing, which is kind of sort of like a secondary to any other traffic source. So it's hard to just build an email list organically. But for example, uh, if you have a YouTube channel or you have a blog or you have uh, an Instagram or any other thing, you collect emails and then you can hit people with emails with affiliate marketing. You, you can hit them with products where uh, I will go to my email list of nearly 100,000 now and I'll send an email every once and again and I'll say, hey, this bank product, blah, 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 blah. It's a good product. I use it myself. I actually like it. I click the link right here and I'll get money from all of those emails as well. So there's so many options out there. We actually have a lot of videos on those topics if you're interested. All right, so let's now talk about how you're actually finding these affiliate programs. How do you find products to actually promote. Uh, there's a couple ways to do this. Uh, as I said, there, most companies have affiliate programs. And so one of the ways you can do this is what I just showed you with NordVPN is go down to the bottom of the page and you'll probably find an affiliate thing uh, on a website. If you don't see it there, you could also just Google it. That's usually what I do. Uh, or what you can do is you can look at a couple of these different affiliate programs. I would join these affiliate networks. Uh, they're some of the best. They're not paying me to say this. They're actually just some of the best ones that I use myself uh, on the daily for both of my businesses here. Uh, but the one that I want to show you here, first of all, we just have to discuss it because it's one that is sort of this rite of passage for everybody with affiliate marketing, and that's Amazon Associates. Uh, the reason for this is because uh, you can promote anything on Amazon and get a commission, get a piece of the pie from anything and everything that people buy 
on Amazon. So I'll give you an example here. Uh, a lot of people ask about my camera. They say, Nate, what camera do you use? And if I leave a link for it, I might as well leave a link for it down below in this video if you want to start a YouTube channel to start with affiliate marketing. Uh, if I leave a link for this camera down below in the description, somebody buys that camera for $1,800 or for $2,000. Well, let's say they buy it for $2,000. I get a 4% commission on that camera. And so that is $2,000 times 4%, which is going to be about $80 in my pocket for somebody clicking my link and buying the camera. Now, if we scroll down here, run affiliate-program.amazon.com. You can just Google this to find it. Uh, we can actually look at their advertising fees to see how much money you would be getting for promoting products on Amazon. Now, the cookie length, it's, it's what we call cookies uh, or essentially how long uh, your link is going to be active or tracked. Uh, for example, if somebody clicks on my Amazon affiliate link for the camera down below in the description, uh, and if they buy anything and everything on Amazon in the next 24 hours, whatever they buy, it doesn't matter if they buy the actual camera that I link to or if they buy something totally different. I've had people buy all kinds of weird things with my links. Uh, but let's say that they click on my link to buy a camera with my Amazon link and then they don't actually buy the camera. They say, I don't actually want the camera. But the next morning they wake up, it's still within that 24 hour period of after they click my link and they decide to buy a couch. This has happened to me many times in the past. They, de they decide to buy a couch or a sofa on Amazon. They pay $1,000 for the couch. Well, if we look at the chart here, furniture is an 8% commission on Amazon. So if they pay $1,000 for a couch, I'm going to get $80 uh, for them buying a couch for a camera that I linked to the day before. It's really kind of bizarre, but this is how it works. Um, and it's, it's, it's pretty cool. And so Amazon, I had to throw it in here because it is sort of a rite of passage. Uh, but the problem with it is that even if you're selling a couch for $1,000 and I get $80 in my pocket, it's still not that much money because the truth is most Amazon links, you're going to get like 50 cents for everything that people buy. Uh, I link out to a lot of books in my videos. On these videos, we talk about, you know, the best book, read the four hour work week, for example. Somebody buys that book, I'll get like 50 cents in my pocket from an Amazon link. So it's really not that much money uh, and there are better options out there besides just Amazon. So let me actually take you over to this tab here, which is actually going to be CJ. So this is Commission Junction. I, I believe they just call it CJ now. I think they just dropped the whole Commission Junction thing. Uh, but it's CJ.com. Once again, they're not paying me to say this. This is just something that I use quite a bit. Um, and so this is actually the account for, for this channel that you're watching here. Uh, we don't have a lot of affiliates on here, but as you can see in the past week, 680 bucks uh, from just, you know, from a couple of products that we've been promoting and I'll click refresh here. Like I'm not, I'm not making this up guys. You, you know, I've been doing this for years here uh, and it took a while to build this up. I have extremely slow internet here, but once it loads, you'll see. Uh, the key here is, is not to just show you like what we're making here. I guess we made $50 yesterday from one sale of a product. I'm gonna assume it's probably a VPN service. Uh, we can go through and actually find out what it was. But uh, we're gonna go up to this tab up here and click on advertisers. So sign up for an account for CJ after this video uh, and you can just start to explore different advertisers that are out there that you can start with. Um, and so once this loads, we'll see so many different options for companies that we can promote. And a lot of them, what's really cool about companies like CJ, uh, a lot of these companies on here are big companies that you've heard of, like Nike or Adidas uh, or, or some of your favorite streaming services, potentially Hulu. I don't think Hulu is actually on here, but just a lot of big names. Uh, for example, you probably see a lot of these that you recognize, like 23andMe, right? You probably recognize most of these brands here or a good portion of these brands. And what we can do is we can go up here and we can actually sort by category. And let's say that uh, we are promoting something in uh, education. Let's say that we go for, for, for education for college. Let's say that we're a college student and we want to promote uh, certain educational products to college students. Let's see what comes up here. So look, the, econo the Economist test prep. We have test prep things, Peterson's, right? We have a lot of different options here. Let's say that we are going to promote this one right here. We click on it. We read the terms and then we join the program. You're going to see what types of things that you're going to get. So what it looks like is you're going to get a 15% uh, commission for monthly orders totaling $2,500 or less, and then an 18% commission for orders over $2,500. Um, and it, so, for example, if you want to, to uh, promote access to this GMAT uh, tutor or for the GRE, people who are going into uh, um, uh, for their master's, I think, I don't even know, I didn't even graduate college. Uh, but there's what I'm saying here is that there's a market for pretty much anything that you could imagine. Uh, if you're promoting books, you're promoting promoting beauty products, you're promoting automotive stuff, you're promoting financial services. There's something for everybody here and this is really 
what is so cool about this. And guys, I honestly just get too excited about this. Uh, but for example, Ally Invest, we want to uh, promote Ally for banking or whatever it might be. We click join program and we can get started with that. And then what's going to happen here is you're either going to get an affiliate link right away, right off the bat. They're just going to give you an affiliate link or you're going to have to click join program, apply for it. They're going to get back to you in a couple days and tell you, yes, you've been accepted to the program or no, you have not been accepted to the program. So I wanted to show you that, but let me just take you over to this one as well, which is Impact. It used to be called Impact Radius. I think they, just like CJ, they shortened their name to just impact.com. This is another one that I would suggest signing up for. Very similar to CJ, where they have a ton of different businesses on there, a lot of which you are familiar with. Uh, so if you're looking for products to promote, I would suggest opening up accounts and then just scrolling through these and seeing what you can promote, saying this will be a perfect match for my audience, this will be a perfect match for my website, a perfect match for my YouTube channel. Uh, and so that is really, really what I wanted to show you here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to walk you through how to set up a website um, because I think this is probably the best, most important thing to do, sort of this sort of mothership, this big thing that you can drive all of your traffic from any other source, from Facebook, from social media, from YouTube, from anything else, uh, from, from paid advertising and really funnel it back to your website, which is going to be your cash cow. So let me show you how to do that in the coming minutes here. I think it's going to be really, really exciting. All right, so to build this website, you can just go to siteground.com slash go slash Centrell, click enter. I'm going to leave a link for it down below. It is an affiliate link because we're talking about affiliate marketing. But if you want to find the best web, ho web hosting services, uh, we have a lot of different options available to us. You'll see SiteGround, Bluehost, HostGator. Uh, uh, there are so many different companies out there that offer web hosting. Essentially, uh, what this means is that uh, unless you're going to have a server in your house, not to get too technical, but unless you're going to have a server in your house, you're going to have to pay somebody to host your website. It's not free. You're going to have to host it somewhere. Uh, and so there's a couple of different options that are available to you. Now, right now, it looks like they're running some type of uh, a little bonus thing here that you can get three months for 99 cents. I don't know if this is going to be around for a long time, so uh, I'm not quite sure. I think this is, I usually don't see it at, for 99 cents for three months. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to get you guys the best price. I'll try to get you guys a discount and I'll leave that link down below if possible. Um, so what you're going to do is click on web hosting and you're going to see a few different options available. Uh, now, if you are planning on running a site that is relatively large, you're trying to get 100,000 visits or month uh, 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 per month or more, then you can go with something like the GoGeek option. It's obviously up to you. Right now, they're running a, a crazy promotion of for 33 cents a month for the base plan. I've never seen it that cheap. I think they're just doing this because of uh, the current outbreak, as you can read on the screen here, uh, this serious challenge to help more people get online. Uh, they're offering this three months uh, for only 99 cents. Uh, that's that's probably not going to stay for a long period of time. So if you're watching this video, uh, because I've never seen it that cheap, it's, it's probably going to be uh, more like $4.95 per month or more for the startup option. Uh, but because we want to have all these other features, we're going to go with the GoGeek feature for this video. So we're going to click get plan and we're going to go through a process now of registering a domain and then setting up our website. I'm going to walk you through every step of the process because this video is a full tutorial showing you how to get started with this. And once at the end of this video, you're really going to be in a solid position to hit the ground running, to really get going and to start pulling in money immediately or within the next 24 to 72 hours. Building websites can take a little bit of time. I'm going to show you some of the best tactics for that. We actually have a lot of videos on these topics on this channel. So if you want to delve into those, you certainly can. Uh, I'm going to go with the Nate O'Brien show here, the Nate O'Brien show.com uh, because I'm probably starting a podcast at some time in the future. So I figure I'll just grab this domain. Uh, as far as the, the uh, ending here, uh, you can have .com, you can have .net, .org. I would suggest going with .com. Um, I think people get a little bit sketched out when they see .online or .blog or .academy. They just look kind of weird. I know whenever I'm on a site that's not a .com or a .net or a .org, I get a little bit weird about it um, and I'm less likely to click on it. And so from an SEO perspective, from a search engine optimization perspective, .com is probably the best route to go. Um, so it's only $15.95 per year for this. If we already have a domain, we can just click here and it'll take us through a process of transferring that domain. But for this, we're going to click proceed. 
Now, what's going to come up next is going to be uh, the, the form that we're going to fill out to actually go through the process of buying it. I want to scroll down though, and we'll look over a couple of different options and kind of upsells that they're going to try to hit you with. Um, pretty much all web hosting services do this if you're trying to start a website. So uh, what I would do, first of all, the 12 month one is fine. You can go for 36, but you're not going to get that much of a better discount. So a 12 month is just fine. Uh, what you're going to want to click though is domain privacy. Uh, this is so that it, it's going to give you a lot of privacy so that all of your personal information is not available out there. There's something called the who is uh, a registry. And so this is going to protect your information so that you don't have like random people showing up to your house. Uh, every, almost everybody clicks domain privacy to have this. It's only an extra $12 a year, $1 a month. Uh, so it's certainly worth it for that. The SiteGround site scanner, um, if you want this, you can. I do have this on my website, uh, but for the purpose of this video, we're probably not going to go for it right now for this. Uh, so we will skip over that uh, and then we'll click confirm on both of these. All right, so once we've done all that, then we can just click pay now and then it'll take us to this next page. And this is where it gets really interesting, really fun, but very important to pay close attention to what's going on here. All right, so we just went through the process. Now we just have to click proceed to customer area. And this is how we can actually start to build our website. Now, what's great about this, look, it's not as complicated as what a lot of people would assume. And I'm gonna be honest, um, when I first started building websites, I was thinking that you need to be some type of coder and you have to know all types of different coding languages. Uh, the truth is you don't have to do any of that. You can just know none of that and still build a pretty good website. Now, if there's any coders out there, I know there's still a lot of like serious importance for that, uh, but uh, to build a basic website and to start getting traffic, you don't need to have any uh, necessary skills in order to do this. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to set this up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click over here on websites and we're gonna start building our site here. So we have nateobryanshow.com. I don't know what I'm actually gonna do with this domain, uh, but we're just gonna kind of go with it. Uh, and so we're gonna click complete here. And then we're going to go through the process of actually starting a new website. Uh, so we're going to click select this. And then we have options for how we are going to build this site. Now, I'm going to tell you this. Most websites, the biggest websites in the world, a lot of them, almost all of them, are built using WordPress. This is uh, essentially the go-to. There's other ones as well. You, you can see uh, you can use WooCommerce with WordPress or you can use Weebly or there's other website builders as well. I think what we'll do actually is if you want to build a website but you don't want to go through this process, I'll leave a link to Wix, the Wix website builder, potentially Squarespace. You've probably seen their ads everywhere. Uh, you can build websites on those as well. Although if you're really trying to build a massive site uh, that can net a lot of affiliate revenues, your best bet from my personal opinion is still going to be through WordPress. So we can click select on this and then we can actually set up our WordPress login and our password with this. So let me just go through this process very quickly and then I'm going to click uh, continue here. All right. So now at this point we are going to add domain privacy, go through the process of paying for domain privacy. All right, so now they are creating our site. It might take just a little bit of time to get set up, but once this gets set up, you will have your live website and you can go into a separate tab and type in your website domain and uh, look it up and you're gonna see your website. It's gonna look pretty bad at first, uh, but there's actually a couple things we can do to really, really make it look very good very, very quickly. And then to start creating articles or start to put your YouTube videos in there and start to really build this up and start to rank for search and other terms uh, that we can really start to get. So. Uh, our site creation is taking longer than usual, probably because there's like five people streaming on this Wi-Fi right now at the same time. So give me a second and then we'll get back to this. All right, so it looks like it went through. Uh, we have to click websites again and then we can press on WordPress kit right here. So we're on websites. We go over to WordPress kit. We click on it. We go to WordPress admin. It logs us in here. Uh, and this is going to be how we're going to get started here. So, and so this is our WordPress page. Let me just log in very quickly and then we'll finally get to our website. Okay. So here is our site. They're going to try to get us through some WordPress starter thing. Scroll down and click exit. You don't have to go through that uh, unless you truly want to, uh, but there's a faster way to kind of go through this process. This here is our dashboard through SiteGround for our website. So if we click on view site right here, 
This is this is nateobryanshow.com. This is what it looks like. This is just another WordPress website. Uh, we're going to modify this quite a bit. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do this and how to really clean this up very quickly to start pumping out content on something like this and start to literally start printing money with this. So what we can do uh, is we can manage pages. We can add pages on here. So let's say that I want to make a page uh, that's going to be, let's say I want to make one about finance, right? Let's say that I want to make one a, a page titled, so let's say that I want to make a page titled uh, for uh, perhaps best bank accounts, right? So bank accounts or, or, or credit cards perhaps, right? And then so we can make new pages here, publish that. And we can start to start building pages on here to start building out our website. Uh, and you can see just how quickly we can actually go through this process. I mean, at this point, the amount of websites that I've built in the past just two years here, I could probably pump out like 10 websites in a day, uh, just basic websites, basic skeletons of websites, but enough to get started here to really, really get the ball rolling. So let's say that another one we want to do credit card reviews, right? So a lot of money in credit card reviews. And so we're going to make a page about credit cards. Uh, and then publish that. And then we'll kind of build out our pages. And then if we want to change our themes, if we want to change uh, the appearance here, we can add some plugins, for example. So if we go to plugins here, or if we go to Elementor, I'll leave a link for Elementor uh, down below. But this is something that is a great way to build your website. Trust me on this, uh, that if you go to Elementor, uh, this is one of the best ways to actually start building a website. It makes it super easy, super easy to drag and drop things. And uh, as you can see here on the screen. Uh, so I will leave a link to that down below. It's going to be the fastest way to really kind of edit your website. Uh, but if you want to install more plugins here, you can certainly do that. Uh, we can remove both of these. We can deactivate SiteGround Optimizer and we can deactivate the WordPress Starter as well. But then we can add new plugins. If we click add new plugin here, hopefully I'm not going too fast. I think what we're going to do is I'm actually going to uh, hopefully going to make some more in-depth uh, uh, tutorials on how to actually start websites, how to build out websites, how to really go through this process uh, uh, to create beautiful sites. And we'll probably do that in a separate video, but I wanted to give you guys like the basics of getting started with this. So a lot of these I would suggest downloading like Yoast SEO. You're, you're going to go down some rabbit holes. Um, luckily, we are going to have you guys covered for most of this. So. Uh, for the, the types of plugins to install, uh, going over your settings, looking at your settings, making sure that everything looks correct on there. Um, and yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be certainly a process. If you click on permalinks here, uh, if you click on permalinks and you look at uh, what your, your, your settings are going to be for that, you want post name is, is probably the best bet uh, so that you're not going to have a bunch of links on your website that look like a bunch of random hieroglyphics, just numbers and stuff. Um, so look, I want to leave you guys with that for the website. You can go down that, that rabbit hole and venture into websites. Uh, but as far as traffic goes, yes, I think a website is the best thing to funnel things back to because that's going to have the highest conversion rate by far compared to any other things. Uh, the biggest thing too is building some type of brand uh, rather than just kind of going out there and being a salesman. That's why for my primary YouTube channel, which a lot of that my affiliate revenue comes from my primary YouTube channel, I build this brand of it's me. I talk to my viewers like they're my friends. And once again, as I said earlier in the video, I only promote products that I actually like. But because they trust me, because my viewers trust me, I actually get higher conversion rates because they know that any product that I'm promoting, that I'm telling them that there's an affiliate link below, they know that I'm not promoting a bad product because I've made it very clear that I only promote good products that I actually use myself. And so it gives you a higher level of integrity, which actually, in most cases, actually gets better conversion rates. Um, so build a brand, whether it's your personal brand or whether it is your own website or your own business, come up with a brand, uh, register your business in your state, in your country, whatever you have to do, potentially get some trademarks. This is a great route to go. We have so many other affiliate marketing videos on this channel as well. All right, so I think that wraps up this video. Thanks for watching. If you found any value, make sure you drop a like. and I would appreciate all the support. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you for making it this far in the video. I hope you really did find some value in it. Once again, all this content is free. We put out as much free content as possible on this channel. So thank you and I'll see everybody in next week's video.